Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Hope you're doing well, as well as can be in 2023. We're going to look into a few different things that are currently going on, kind of jacking up our environment here. So, um, you guys have sent these in, so I thought we will look into them together because they seem to kind of be related. So, the first thing here is there's a fire at an Indiana plastics recycling plant and it continues to burn. Um, this is, the article is April 13th, 2023, and it says, as of this point, the firefighters spent two days battling an inferno fueled by plastics in eastern Indiana with no end in sight. The f raging fire at a Richmond recycling plant has reignited old frustrations over safety hazards at the facilities and sparked new concerns among the residents, as it would. About 2,000 people living within the half-mile radius of the plant are still under evacuation orders. Okay. So we have that. Then we have this, I'm sure. I This is April 11th. I'm recording this April 13th, 2023. So there's probably more updates than this, but this is from Dimmit, Texas. An explosion near the Texas Panhandle sent one person to the hospital. Uh, this was the dairy factory that exploded or had a fire or whatever, fire and explosion. Um, and I believe there was a bunch of uh, cows lost, like a ton of cows lost. Then we have this, back to East Palestine. There's a truck hauling 40,000 pounds of contaminated soil um, and it overturns on a highway. Like really, really, really. All right, so um, we're gonna start first with What's going on in Indiana with this plastics recycling plant? Uh, let's start first with the energy around the situation. Was this just, you know, uh, bound to happen because they um, are not doing things properly over there? Or is there something more nefarious at play? Let's see. Surprisingly, I'm not going to be affixing my tinfoil hat. I know. And against all legend for entertainment purposes, it's a card reading. So in case I didn't say it, there's a disclaimer in the box below. Um, part of this is um, there is some, shockingly, there is some truth to what was said, uh, but that's, they're not telling the whole truth of things. So this is coming across to me that there was a growing problem. They're aware that there's something going on at this plant that's dangerous or needs to be taken care of. Um, and at the same point, allegedly, my opinion, uh, I think there might have been some help or some safety protocol that was breached, something just there's this idea coming to me about like, well, it's too co too costly to fix, replace, address. Well, F it, let it burn down to the ground. There's something about that that's coming through to me. Um, there's like, like there's a problem there. Like, oh, you're supposed to be doing X and we can't, we're not doing X and we haven't been doing X for a long time. So however, you know, this is like a long time. This is not like we haven't been doing this for a year. feels like it's a long-term problem. They haven't been addressing it. And <clears throat> this just feels like, let's just get rid of the problem completely. Um, it, there's like, this would have been too costly to repair address. And I don't know this, I mean, someone decided it's got to go in the worst possible way ever. But it's like, you know how you you stay here back, I'm sure it still happens, you know, back in the day where people would like torture businesses to get the insurance money or torture our house if they're like nutso. Similar idea, like 
that was bound to happen and it's like it's cheaper if it's gone it's less expensive although i don't know if you're poisoning everybody in the air uh, with this recycling plant i don't know how amazing that's going to be in terms of people not wanting to come after you for poisoning them my opinion so uh, that's that's weird i thought for sure we were going to see our favorite friends from the eyes wide shut gang coming up no such luck all right now i'm going to look into the dairy factory explosion fire whatever I'm not even sure. Oh, it says, State Fire Marshal's office is investigating what caused the explosion. Oh my gosh, can you imagine they're going to be like, oh my god, it's all the cow farts. That's what happened. Like, how long has that been there? Anyway, what's behind this dairy explosion fire thing? Uh, that's intentional. My opinion, allegedly, entertainment purposes only. That's intentional. This this is like a, this feels very much like a fire bug going in there and plink and walking away. Plink. This is intentional. Yeah, this, God, this is disgusting. This has been a long time plan. It's a long time plan. <sighs> yeah, this is not just something that happened. This is not even like a long term problem. This is not like cow farts built up. This is not even that. I know how ridiculous that sounds, but it's not like, um, it's not a building problem. This is some, I just, I'm going to call him a fire bug, even if it's not a fire bug. It's who, however, whoever started this, this feels like a person that started this. This is done intentionally. They walk away from it. They might get caught because it looks like there's some secrets here to be revealed about it. What? Hello, camera. I guess I'm, oh, I'm back to not being blurry. Oh, cameras and me today. Um, it looks like there's some things that are going to come out about this. Uh, this is... We wanted to get rid of it for some reason. It's interesting too. So, so the fire bug, whoever started this, whoever's responsible for this, did this intentionally though, because there's some type of healing that's going to be brought about because this dairy factory is not there anymore. Oh, it's almost as if the person who did this thinks that there's something not healthy about the factory and so we have to get rid of it. There's something going on at the factory that comes out of the factory that we have to stop or bring it to a trickle. They, they don't want this factory here because they think there's something unhealthy coming out of it. Had to make sure I was still recording. I was like, holy cow, all my little signs and signals went off. Okay, um, we gotta make sure there's healing. It's an unhealthy factory. And we need healing to come out of it. Let's pull this deck. What's the, why is this, why is, why has the, we'll call the fire bug, why have they deemed that this factory is unhealthy? Ten of Wands. It's a there's a bird in here. Unfair practices, not right practices, doing something shady, not good. How interesting. Four of Cups. I was just thinking about like traditional Four of Cups, you know, where it's like the person sitting by the tree and they're getting offered a, a cup to drink and they're like, eh, I don't want it. Nobody's gonna want anything out of this 
the Sterry Factory. Their secrets. That's an overriding concern here. There's some secrets about this factory coming up. The emotional undercurrent that this is like, this was a wise decision. Don't ask me. I'm just reading the cards. All right. This, this is the fear position, this card, the hanged man. And it's coming across as if like people aren't, weren't seeing the problems there or what's coming out of the factory there. Again, this new obsession. We're going to start over, going to start over. We're done with this dairy factory. It's no good. This is done on purpose. This is almost like the, whoever does this, whoever we're going to call Firebug, is doing this like I'm. This is like a battlefield. That's how this comes across. This was a battlefield. And um, there, whatever's coming out of it was not bringing all the good things. It's not bringing the nutrients, or it's not bringing health, or it's not bringing stuff. This is the obstacle they're trying to overcome by um, exploding it or whatever they're doing there. Um, that's weird. Poor cows. They didn't know any better. They didn't know what's going on. Poor innocent cows. Little moosies. I love driving by dairy farms here and I always talk to the cows and I wave to them and I send them love. And Yeah, I'm a nut. Okay, let's go now to what's happened over there in East Palestine with this truck that overturned on the highway. Hauling 40,000 pounds of contaminated soil. What's going on? Tractor trailer hauling 40,000 pounds of contaminated soil overturns on a highway. That was April 11th. Oh, there's that card I was talking about, the Four of Cups. See, they're trying to offer him, like if we're going back to that past spread here, you want some milk? No way. Anyhow. Um, This is weird. It's it feels I'm gonna say in my opinion it does feel like um some type of sabotage. Uh, like we don't want it. We don't want it, right? Don't want it. Uh, you keep that shit away from wherever it was going. Or where was it going? Let me see if I can find that on the article. The truck went off the road. And of course, they say it's it was contained and not a threat to the nearby waterways. Okay. It was open top. Um... I can't see where it was headed. Anyway, it says there was a, a driver, 74-year-old from Pennsylvania. He was cited for operating a vehicle without reasonable control. Okay, anyhow, this is, we don't want this delivery. We don't want this moving. We don't want it. Um, and so I don't know if they, the 74-year-old driver's involved in this, but there's like this new relationship. It's like if there's a new contractors, some, but like, it's almost like if you're hiring these outside agencies to come in and help, they're like, almost like you're saying, you're, yeah, you're going to help, but you're, you're going to help. Not really, not really help. God, it's so hard to be like one of those liar people. I can't, I can't do that separation where like, oh, did you commit the crime? Uh, yes, no, I can't do it. <sighs> That's tough. You try it. It's like patting your head and rubbing you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, this is, 
we don't want this delivery. You're going to work with us and, uh, you know, wink, wink, that delivery ain't going to get where you think it's going to go. Um, and maybe this could be also, they don't tell the person, they just find out who the, uh, operator contractor person's going to be and just say, go, go dilly dally around and touch their truck or something. Um, this is also like there's secrets to be revealed. Like there's something shady going on behind the scenes. Like we don't know about it, but something comes out about this. Um, there was a creative way that they made it so that this truck would knock over, fall over, crash. It wasn't just, I don't think this is just the uh, 74 year old uh, that was driving it. This was like a control, controlled, like I feel like there's a something done to the um, truck. It's like, I see it, the way I see it is like a, putting a, you know how you put that a stick through the spokes on a bike wheel? Something like that. And then it's like just one thing and then the rest of it goes over. That's how this comes across. Um, let's look into the driver um what role if any did the driver of this truck have This guy was like, this guy wanted to help out. So I don't think he has any role in this. He's like trying to help restore the balance back to East Palestine. So, uh, now that's interesting. I think this is saying here, cause we had the sneaky snacker in reverse, seven of swords. That's my sneaky snacker card. That's interesting because there's almost as if his intention was to come and bring healing by hauling this toxic crap away. Um, I'm wondering then, did he, when he made contact with whoever the officials are, that he got tangled up into something where he could sense it wasn't right? Like something off there's something shady about that person ah, i knew i shouldn't have trust them mm, i should have trusted my gut there's something here where i think he's going through something might pop up in his mind where he might say hey yeah you know i was talking to um frank jones over there and uh found out like he said something i remember he said something to me or yeah i think like He's told like, oh, like your, your truck can haul this much. Well, you can take a little extra. It's fine. Kind of like planes when they have, uh, you know, freight planes, the cargo planes, they can only take so much weight. It's like, there's like, I think that's their extra weight in there. There's something like that. There's extra weight. And then there's the stick in the spoke of the wheel or something like that jams up a, I don't know how many wheels this truck has, but. There's like two things going on, but like he comes into contact with someone who says, go ahead and do this extra thing. Like if it's extra weight or something else he's not supposed to be doing, but he kind of got cajoled, like, cause he wants to bring the, the healing, the, you know, back to the area. I think he just got screwed in this. He, man, poor old truck driver. <sighs> Someone kind of got him to do it, like, and he didn't know. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. Oh, I don't like to see that. Um, anyhow, so with that, if you haven't yet, join me in the Moon Moth Manor, aliciawicker.com. You get tarot readings uh, over there, mucho mas, and uh, you'll get these readings ahead of time without any ads. 
and uh, all that good stuff. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Adios.